uh, hi guys uh, this is Rujit uh, again I just wanted to show you some uh, trading ideas which were planned well in advance using demand and supply methodology uh, you know whenever I get time I try to uh, share these uh, examples because I want you people to see that it's not uh, that in demand and supply you cannot pre-plan trades like in other strategies in demand and supply you can always pre-plan trades uh, you can uh, pre-plan your entry your stop loss your targets and uh, you could also see you know how beautifully these demand and supply areas they work now well, again I'll add uh, just because we are doing demand and supply does not mean that every trade is going to be a profitable trade uh, we have losing trades as well but like I always say that the key to profitable trading is not the hit trade the key to profitable trading is always your reward to risk ratios so you would also be able to see that some of these trades the reward to risk ratios are beautiful uh, the minimum reward to risk ratio we look for whenever we plan trades is at least two is to one you would see some trades even uh, reward to risk ratio is bigger than 2 is to 1 now uh, if you look at this you know these trades were shared can you see on the uh, if I just scroll it a little bit you can see it was shared on the 12th of July you can see here on the top it says 12th of July so on the 12th of July at about 22.20 which means uh, at night uh, at about 10.20 uh, p.m. I shared these trading ideas now uh, what I'll be doing is uh, this one has not yet triggered so I'll not be talking about this I'll be talking about the other three trading ideas which got triggered now can you see these trade trades were shared on the 12th uh, for the 14th session which is the evening session which means these are the trades we will be looking into in the coming uh, next week which means starting from the 15th which is Monday so if the prices they come uh, to these uh, demand areas and supply areas that is where we are planning some trades so you can see we have uh, uh, two long trades and one short trade this one like I said you know it's st still not triggered so I have it uh, uh, hidden now if you look at reliance you can see we wanted to enter go short at 1292.90 this is the stop loss similarly gale we wanted to go short here this is the stop loss uh, zeal we wanted to go long here this is a stop loss and the minimum target we are talking about is that this is the minimum two is to one we would be looking for so if the targets they show us uh, I mean if the charts they show us these targets we will be getting into those trades if the targets they, they don't show us a minimum of this much target which is two is to one we would not be getting into trades that is what it basically implies now again I'll add uh, that these trading ideas as of now are only shared with the POS plus members uh, through our telegram group which is the POS plus group you can see we have about 242 members as of now and I am sharing these uh, trading ideas till 31st of December uh, on this group otherwise uh, the members they only get these trading ideas during their 30 days or 60 days subscription period uh, but I also uh, you know uh, said this a few weeks ago uh, I made this announcement uh, that I'm looking for a target of 1 lakh YouTube subscribers so once I reach that target of 1 lakh YouTube subscribers I'm willing to share these trading ideas well in advance uh, even on YouTube uh, so I'm planning to do that but again uh, for that we need to reach that target before 31st of December so if we reach that target before 31st I'll also start sharing these trading ideas on YouTube so again if you look at these uh, trading ideas uh, the first one was uh, Reliance so if you look at Reliance today prices came back to that zone now the problem is uh, the reward to risk ratio was not really nice so ideally this is a trade which should have been skipped uh, but still if you would have taken the trade at the end of the day maybe small little money uh, but you know it has some uh, things due to which we would have probably skipped the trade so this one again a trade where uh, reward to risk ratio is bad but still if somebody would have taken the trade at the end of the day maybe small little money on this the second one which got triggered is Gale if you look at Gale you will see this is what we planned that we wanted to go long at uh, this demand area you can see prices came to this demand uh, we started having a nice move to the upside uh, the zone was tested once twice quite a few times but again you know what happened is uh, the day we uh, took the trade which is right here it just gave you a bounce which was about a one is to one after that you know it went back probably a break even trade but yes somebody who's aggressive uh, because uh, you know whenever we talk about daily income trades I always tell you that daily income trades are trades which can even be kept overnight provided certain conditions are uh, qualified so I just want to show you can you see from this demand area that is where prices have been bouncing for the last two days came to that demand we already have a move which is more than two is to one and the last one is zeal uh, if you look at zeal you can again see you know we had a demand zone uh, this is where we had that demand zone yesterday prices they fell shy of that zone maybe by a few paces today prices they hit the zone 
this is where we had the opposing fresh area of supply which was our target which was clearly showing us about four is to one and you can see you know after the entry in about 15 minutes half an hour it hit that four is to one and from that supply again it started bouncing off and that is where the uh, this trade ended so uh, can you see a four is to one a very quick four is to one an amazing move from this demand area so again, uh, the only purpose of sharing these videos is just to show you that these trades can be planned well in advance. Uh, you know, people say it's impossible to buy the high, uh, buy the lows and sell the highs. You can see, you know, almost bought the low of this one. And that is the beauty of demand and supply methodology. So uh, until we make, uh, until we meet the next, uh, enjoy your day. And I'll try my best to share, you know, these videos as frequently as possible. But at times I'm tied up. Uh, like last week, I was not even able to do the uh, Sunday session. So I was a little tied up. I was not able to create some videos. So I thought probably I'll do one for this week at least. Uh, so again, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you like this video, share it with your friends. Um, you know, share it with the, if you're on some trading groups, you can share it on those trading groups. Maybe, you know, a lot of people who are looking for some answers, they might find something useful from the videos which I create on YouTube. So again, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.